Yo, what is happening? My name is Apton, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the brand new blue slash cyan candy bar, also known as the Jesse's Math Bar in Lumber Tycoon 2. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So guys, getting this candy bar is pretty straightforward, but in this video I'm going to be showing you one of the most efficient ways to get one. So buckle up and get yourself one of these utility vehicles. They can be found at What Are Us and they're only $400. So go ahead and get one of those if you don't already have one. You probably already have one on your base though. You're going to want to drive up to What Are Us. Do note that you won't actually be able to get this blue candy bar after the 31st of October, so make sure you check your calendar and see if it is after that date. If it is after the 31st for you, that does mean that you will unfortunately not be able to get this through the game at least. You will still be able to probably trade with other players to get it though. And now once you get to Wood R Us, you can actually kind of drive in. It might take a little bit of maneuvering in order to get inside, but once you do get inside, you can kind of just drive around the counter like this, and then you can just flip around is probably the best way to do this. And then all you want to do is just put as many blue candy bags as you can into your car. So there is only six, so once you fill your car full of them, you can just drive up over here. Now guys, if your candy bags actually start being unresponsive after you get over here, that may mean that your server is in fact broken, so you might have to join a different server. So just buy all of the candy bags. It will cost you almost 4000 per batch of six, so if you are a bit tight on money, then you might not actually be able to get this, but there is still a chance. Of course, getting the blue candy bar is just based on luck. Now I would personally recommend doing this in a private server so that you don't disturb other people while they're trying to buy stuff from What Are Us, or of course so that they don't disturb you while you're trying to buy, but as long as there isn't another person in What Are Us, you should be fine. If not though, I do have free private servers up on my Discord server, so make sure you join that if you want access to those VIPs. VIP servers are much safer for whatever you may be doing in Lumber Tycoon, so definitely consider checking that out on my Discord. So I'll leave a link in the description and on the end card for the invite link to my Discord server in case you're interested. Remember guys, you can stack the items. This is a pretty recent change, but you can actually stack items beforehand. They would have to touch the counter, but you can actually stack items on the counters now, and they will all register. And once you have a decent pile of bags, it can be as big or as small as you like, but I find it's a little faster if you do this around every two car trips. Anyways, just move them over to the grass and open them up. You don't actually have to move them over to the grass. If you find it faster, you can open them up in the store. It's just that the candy often ends up on the counter and impedes buying more. So I personally like to put them on the grass, but you can do whatever you like. So yeah, pretty much just repeat this process until you find a blue candy bar. Do be careful because the red science candy does look a lot like the blue candy bar, but remember we are looking for a blank cyan colored candy bar. So yeah, I'm just going to keep repeating this process until I find a blue candy bar. Remember, it is all based on luck. You can get one your first try, you can get one your 1,000th try. It just depends on how lucky you are. It seems like on average there is about one blue candy bar per 300 bags. So yeah, you'll just have to repeat this process until you find one.
By the way guys, as you're doing this, the pile of candy will accumulate, so if you want to get rid of that in case of lag, you can just reload every once in a while and that will completely get rid of the entire pile. Just make sure that there isn't anything that is of value off your base when you reload. Of course, make sure that there isn't a blue candy bar in your pile, obviously, because when you reload, anything that isn't on your base that is a loose item will of course be destroyed. Sick, I got one! That was so fast! Usually it takes a whole lot longer, so I got pretty lucky. If you are still trying to get one, don't feel bad, it can take a very long time. I'm just super lucky. So yeah, don't stress, keep going at it. Unless of course you ran out of money, then that would be quite unfortunate. Hopefully that didn't happen to you, but anyways, that is how you get a cyan candy bar. So this is actually super rare, the main reason you would want one of these is actually for trading so that you can actually sell these for quite a bit. And when you eat it, it'll actually give you a special effect around your head, it'll kind of make your head glow, kind of like a fire effect. It's pretty cool. By the way guys, if you do get one, make sure that you get it to your base as soon as possible so that if you do lose connection, not all is lost. If you were to lose connection with it off of your base, you would of course lose it. So you want to make sure it's on your base as soon as possible. Unless of course you just want to eat it right now and get yourself the effect. It doesn't really do much other than it looks really cool. I would personally keep it on my base just so that I can sell it later because that could definitely get you pretty rich. These things are currently going for quite a bit. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helped you. Remember, the Discord server offers free private servers. We also actually hit 1,000 members in it, so we are hosting a massive Lumber Tycoon 2 items giveaway. You're definitely not going to want to miss that if you want a chance to get a bunch of free items. To join the giveaway, you're just going to want to join my Discord server by following the invite link in the description or on the end screen at the end of the video. And you're just going to want to go to the giveaways channel and then click the react on the post about the giveaway and you will automatically be entered. There's also a Halloween themed build competition if you want a chance to win some prizes. That is of course in the Discord server. And finally I just made a fan arts channel if you want to make some fan art and be featured in the end of one of my videos. Sorry that was a lot to go over about my Discord but yeah, also the Boreal Pumpkin merch is up on the merch store. Make sure you get it before it goes off sale on the 31st of October. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it helped you. I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!